Hello everyone, welcome to the coding tuition. In this video, we will see how to improve our programming logic. This video is for people who find it difficult to apply logic when they solve a particular problem. Also, in this video, I will provide you with a list of 30 basic problems you should solve before directly jumping to competitive coding or data structures and algorithm. So let's start with the video. So before understanding how to improve the logic, let us understand who faces the problem. First category of people are those who are beginners in programming, who have just started to code. And this is a common problem. No need to worry about that. The steps I will be providing to you in this video, you can follow those steps and improve your logic building as soon as possible. The second category who faces this problem of applying logic to a problem are the students who are in first and second year of college. Yes, even these students also face this problem. Now let us understand why these students face the problem of applying logic to any particular problem. The first reason is not taking the practical session seriously. I don't know about IITs or NITs or big uh, college, engineering colleges but if we talk about city colleges tier 2 and tier 3 colleges we have a practical session every day where we have to write a code and show to the lab in charge what we do is we either copy the code from geeks for geeks or we take the code from one of the guy who, who writes the code and passes it to the whole class the problem here is we are totally wasting the one to two hour practical session Instead of that, if, even if you are copying the code or, or taking the code from someone, you should at least understand what is the logic behind the code so that you can at least utilize that time to improve your programming logic. And the second reason is not giving enough time for coding. Yes, even if you are copying the code in the practical session, you have to give time for coding when you are away from college, when you are at home or whenever you are in a good state of mind even if you give 30 minutes a day from your first year itself you will be one of the good programmer till the fourth year so please start coding from today onwards so now we have understood the reasons why we face the problem better late than never we can now also improve our problem solving ability or logic building ability now let's see what are the steps to improve the logic building so before starting, I would say is whatever steps I am giving, these are totally from my experience. So the first step is to learn a programming language. And I would say learn one from these four programming language that is C, C++, Java and Python. My preference is C++ because if you found programming very interesting and if you want to go into competitive coding, then C++ is the language where most of the competitive programmers use. And why I'm saying that you should learn one language from these four only. So let's suppose you know of any programming language such as R or Ruby or Scala. You can program in that language as well but whenever you are solving a problem it is not necessary that you will get the solution you have to search on the internet the proper editorial of it for that most of the solutions are either in c++ java or nowadays in python so what you have to do when you know any other language is you have to first understand the c++ code then you have to convert it into your known language so that conversion wastes a lot of time so i would recommend learn any one from these four programming language and the second step which i think is also very important is don't directly jump to data structures and algorithm yes i also did the same problem after learning a programming language i directly jump to data structures and algorithm now let us understand why this is a problem if you understand why do we require data structure Dat data structures are required when there are large amount of data and we want to manage it efficiently but but till now we have not even written programs which have three to four variables or say five variables so we are directly jumping to data structures and algorithm due to that you can face some difficulty on solving problems on data structures and algorithm and this might happen that you will leave programming forever so don't do that after learning a programming language don't directly jump to data structures and algorithm solve some basic programming questions and in this video i will provide you with the list of 30 basic problems which 
you can solve before jumping to competitive coding or data structures and algorithm now let's see the list of problems so here are the list of problems the only prerequisite is you should learn a programming language i'm not saying that you should know the programming language in depth only if even if you know the basic stuff that is how to write if else statement how to take input from a user what are loops how to write switch cases functions while loop do while loop all these basic things are enough to start with logic building okay so here are the list of 30 problems you can start from the first problem the first problem is take two numbers as input and print the addition of those two number i know this is a very simple problem but for beginners you can find it difficult that how to take a user input and in every program wherever there is a need to take input you have to take the input from the user right if you are using c++ then you should uh, use c in or if you are using c then scanf is the function to take input from the user the order is also specific uh, in the first few problems you don't require any uh, if else or loops then we come to if else then there are problems on loops then uh, there are some pattern printing problems which will improve your logic building which will improve your logic building ability drastically then there are problems on recursions for that you should have the knowledge of functions as well okay so this these are the list of 30 problems so if you think you are good enough in programming then you can solve all this problem in a day or two and even if you are beginner in programming you can solve one problem a day and with that you can improve your logic building in 30 days in a single month yes now if you have solved all this 30 problem you could solve more problems for practice or you can directly start with the next step the next step is starting with data structures and algorithms you can start with basic data structures that is arrays linked lists uh, stack queue now if you know the theory of any particular data structure now you need some problems to practice okay now let's see how, where can you practice the problems on data structures so here is the platform where you can practice the platform is HackerRank. The link is given in the description box below. You just have to sign up uh, on HackerRank and you can solve problems on data structures and algorithm as well. Here there are list of uh, data structures. You can select any one of those and solve all the problems. Okay. If you have selected array, all the problems on array will show up on the screen. You can solve it one by one. Similarly for linked list, whichever data structures you have learned, you can solve uh, for that uh, data structures on HackerRank, it will improve your problem solving uh, skills and also you will get some points on this platform which you can showcase on LinkedIn as well. So this was it regarding how to improve logic building and programming. All these steps are from my experience. If you find anything I have missed out then please comment down below and if you have any suggestions then also please comment down below and if you found this video helpful then do like the video and subscribe to the channel to show your support. Thank you. Bye.